What's going on guys? Today's video topic, we're going to talk about the top five wet flies in fly fishing. Alright, so just to break down on what wet flies are, wet flies were originally created to imitate the emerging or nymphal stage of aquatic insects that we use to fish for trout generally. Now, before we had such modern tied materials, we often would use soft hackle on tied thread or beads on hooks um, in order to imitate these creatures. Well, since the introduction of new modern materials, we're able to actually stray away from soft hackle. But there are some occasions where swinging a wet fly is actually super beneficial, especially in highly fished areas. If you're noticing that you're not getting the bite you'd like to on nymphs, but you're noticing they're taking nymphs, sometimes swinging a wet fly, either tossing it up into the current upstream and letting it slowly sink down, to the depth of the trout, and then as it's finishing out its swing, it's rising, much like a nymphal stage uh, insect would, you might get the bites you're missing. When we're talking about the wet flies, these are in no particular order. However, one of the most traditional that we see that works on the majority of western and eastern waters, where it applies, is a March brown spider or wet fly. This is tied with a fur body and long, flexible hackle fibers. Usually fished in a size 10 to 18, great on the swing. Similarly, we have a soft hackle pheasant tail. We know that a pheasant tail nymph is a phenomenal nymph uh, on the majority of rivers. If you fish it small in silty bottoms or larger in rocky bottoms, it works wonders. Well, tied with soft hackle, this actually works well, as, just like our modern nymph does. You hear me ranting and raving about hare's ear nymphs all the time. Well, this list would not be complete without a soft hackle hare's ear. It actually looks like the encased body on a hare's ear nymph, but in fact, the soft hackle fibers give the nymph some extra added action that our modern materials don't. You're going to hear the word soft hackle on all five of these, but the fifth wet fly I'm going to talk about today is the sparkle soft hackle wet fly. It looks like a sparkle nymph, like a dun imitation, an emerging dun, as it continues its, its stage out as it lifts up at the end of the swing, but it works wonders. So in order to utilize these the best, what we're gonna end up doing is every time we do a flip up and let it continue its swing around us underneath us, we're gonna take a step down river and continue the process. This is a good way to search for fish when you have no idea where they are, but you notice or you've had hits on subsurface nymphs. Remember, these soft hackle wet flies don't take the place of our nymphs. They don't take the place of our dries. They don't take the place of our streamers either. They are their own beast that can be utilized in a different way other than nymphs. Hopefully these tips have helped you out. Hopefully the video was informative. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you utilize these tips whenever you guys watch these videos. Comment, subscribe down at the bottom. Make sure you're letting us know that you're getting this information. Until next time guys, catch you guys on the flip side and tight lines.